everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I am going to be trying some Dollar Tree makeup. Ooh! It doesn't even have a Dollar Tree branding on the bag anymore. So if you're excited to see how this Dollar Tree makeup turns out, then go ahead and keep watching. So I know you're wondering, like, Jamie, what are you doing? Why are you in red? Why are you in a Santa hat? Because it's Christmas! I'm so excited. Woo! I can't wait. I have not been this excited for Christmas in like a while because of like, you know, the crappy year or whatever, but I'm like stoked. I cannot wait. I'm so excited and I just want Christmas to be here so my kids can have fun and see all the goodies that Santa brought for them. Woo! I don't know. I love Christmas. I just do. Okay, so I obviously did not get a primer and I didn't know that. So I'm gonna go in with my Milk Hydro Grit Primer just because I wanna kinda give it a chance. I don't wanna not put a primer on because I didn't get it and then like the foundation not work. We're gonna bump that right there. Oh, and I did not get concealer. Um, I just realized I did not get concealer. So the first thing I'm gonna go into is gonna be my eyes. I got this nice LA Colors six color eyeshadow all day wear crease proof color okay and it's just like a green and brown palette very cute i think it'll be very festive did i get any primer for my eyes i too did not get primer for my eyes so i'm gonna go in with my own primer i didn't get brow stuff either okay so i threw on some brows and I threw on some eye primer because I also did not get that. And by the way, I know my brows look really bad. I just did a brow gel. So jot that down. I didn't get any brow stuff. I couldn't find any concealer. I couldn't find any eyeshadow primer. So that's awesome. All right, I'm gonna move into the eyes. And this all was a dollar. Like it was legitimately a dollar from the Dollar Tree. Ooh, okay. I am gonna be going in with my brushes, but I got a little brush cleaner. So like a color switch from the Dollar Tree. So I have one of these, I got it from TJ Maxx. I'm gonna just fell out of that though. Ew. Okay, there was stuff all in that one, so that's worse. But it is a color switch. I just figured why not. All right, so I'm gonna go in with this darker green right here. I'm gonna place it in my crease. And we're gonna go from there. I don't really know what we're gonna be doing. It's actually not terrible. It's a lot more teal than it looks though in the pan. And I'm gonna put it on the outer corner. I think I'm just gonna do a simple smoky eye, I think, because I don't feel like I could get real crazy with this one. Placing that color down. This really looks like blue. I have another color I'm gonna blend with it to try to green it out. I am going to cover the whole lid with it. Changed my mind. I feel like this has thrown off my whole look because it looks teal. Oh, this is why you can never trust a green. Green can never just be green. I will tell you though, the shadow isn't bad. Like, I am not using that applicator, but it is a little patchy, just a little. But for a dollar, homegirl, you doing your thing. Let me find out Dollar Tree's having a come up in 2021. I'm pretty sure all of these are shimmer, or supposed to be shimmer mattes, but like, it's not very shimmery, so. All right, so I'm gonna go in with this green right here, this lighter green, and try to blend out that harsh crease, and hopefully that'll make it look a little more green because it's really looking teal no that too is teal it literally just looks like i blended that color all the way up to my eyebrow like i'm not really certain what that was supposed to do <laughs> i'm gonna try try to go into the white and maybe i can put it up there and just blend it to be a little lighter so that way we can it really doesn't even have that much fallout either though i will tell you guys like for a dollar it is not bad so it lightened it a little bit but i just feel like we're stuck with the green ladies and gents 
All right, so I'm gonna go, so I'm gonna go with this color. It's like a bronzy shimmer with my finger and I'm gonna lay that on the lid to try to, to try to save this. All right, so instead of my finger, I am gonna go in with the little applicator. There's not a lot of fallout. Like, it's really not that bad. For being a dollar store, oh! That <laughs> actually applied really good. I'm not gonna lie. I was really like, when Huda came out with her brush that has this on the end of it, I was like, Huda, what in the heck are you doing, girlfriend? We don't use those no more. But maybe we're missing out. Because this is like, this is really nice. This is turning out really freaking nice. Let me find out I just wasted thousands of dollars on expensive makeup and the Dollar Tree had this stuff all along. All right, so I'm gonna go in with this color right here. It's like a matte bronzy looking color, kind of grayish actually. It's a very weird color. Just to kind of smoke this out in the crease, just a bit. All right, I'm gonna go back in with that green. Just place it in here and do that as well. I just wish, the only thing that I hate is that I thought that this was gonna be lighter. So it looks like I literally took that green and just went from the freaking lashes to the brows. That was not my intentions. All right, so we're gonna move on to the face because the top eyes are done. All right, so we primed our face. I don't know why we did that, because we went into our eyes. Okay, I don't know. So I didn't get any face primer. I'm gonna go right into this foundation. And this is, this is the only foundation I could find. It's LA Colors Liquid Makeup helps even skin tone and this is in natural liquid makeup and I also got a dollar beauty sponge all right so I'm gonna move uh, the hat up I think I do have a little fallout going on here which is giving me like a nice little black under eye moment so I got the beauty sponge wet I think this is gonna be too dark oh god I hope not there's no point in shaking it it won't shake Smells fine. Oh, it's not as orange as I thought. Oh, the sponge is soft. Oh my gosh, it's a very soft sponge. So I don't like the Morphe sponges. Um, it's not something I've ever really liked since they came out with it. That's what this one kind of reminds me of, texture wise, but it's really soft. But just like the Morphe one, I feel like it's like kind of really soaking in a lot of that product. And the foundation is a little, orange but it's not the worst for just eyeballing it however i'm pretty sure i'll use this whole bottle in like one sitting i actually think i like this better than the morphe sponge jot that down ladies and gentlemen if you're looking for a sponge that's inexpensive so i feel like it doesn't give me the coverage i want and it is cracking a little bit around my dry areas on my mouth so i get really bad dry skin here and it is definitely sitting in my fine lines of my eyes, so. It's not the most extravagant foundation I've ever used, but it's also not the worst. Like, it's not bad. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's not bad. For a dollar to throw this in your bag and just have it in case you need it is really not bad. I don't have concealer, so I'm just not gonna do concealer. Sometimes I don't do concealer just because I just don't do it all of the time. Um, we're gonna go in with bronzer and this is Bronzer Auto Bronzant. I think that's a different language, but this is Poolside Glamorous, the color workshop. Okay, I don't really know. It's just a bronzer, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be dark enough for me. So I'm gonna pull my hair back. Oh my God. <sighs> okay, that had a lot of fallout. Yeah, just like I thought. <laughs> After I like dug my brush into here, I got some pigment, but it is, shiny and it's also um has like a lot of fallout like when i dig into it i'll show you like it's just falling so the next one is the blush and this is by color mates and this is a dollar i mean you get a lot of blush in here for a dollar i'm not using this brush it's not gonna happen so here she is i get our brush oh my gosh Okay, so a lot goes on there. So like a normal cheap blush, and we've all had them, um, it's extremely pigmented. And your girl went ham. Look at my, like I literally just had to tap this blush. 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with the foundation and just blot over it all right so I'm gonna go back in to I think I'm gonna do the lighter green this one right here that looked just like the other green that looked turquoise and didn't look actually green yeah that color and I'm going in the under eye I completely forgot as I'm sitting here doing my blush I'm like oh snap I'm on the eye this look does not it doesn't look bad is all I'm saying again though I think these are supposed to be shimmer shadows I'm using them as matte because that's what they look like to the eye all right so I'm gonna try to go in with a pencil brush and see if I can get this white right here to look shimmery on my inner corner and if not at least it'll be a lighter color yeah it's not gonna shine it'll still give it a lighter effect okay well that's what I get for that okay Oh, I can use the highlighter. I got a highlighter. Okay, so this is the LA Girls color. It looks like LA Girls is like ugh, LA Girls. I get LA Girls and LA Colors mixed up because LA Girls is also inexpensive. This is the LA Colors Loose Eyeshadow Intense Shimmer. This is an eyeshadow. I did not get highlighter. Or maybe I got this for highlighter. Either way, it's what we're going in with. But I feel like LA Colors is like the Dollar Tree's brand. I always get that mixed up with LA Girl. All right, it comes in this nifty little, oh, that's a brush. I too will not be using that brush. Okay, I'm gonna pour some in here. Ooh, I like that idea better. So I have some in here. It seemed like it was gonna shimmer on my um, hands, but also the blush and the bronzer. <laughs> uh, it's gonna shimmer. And now it's stuck there. Oh. Okay, so it definitely shimmered. Okay, we're gonna go in a little bit lighter this time. This is really not bad. I'm just trying to like go a little at a time so I don't want it to get too out of hand. All right, so I'm gonna go in with that shimmer and try to get my um, inner corner to pop. Oh yes, Ooh, there we go. All right, we're gonna go in with our eyelashes. Eyelash time. I got a couple eyelashes because they actually looked really good. So we have these LA Colors Drama, Dramati, Dramati Lash. These are the same brands and these are XL Wispy Dramatic. So Wispy Full Dramatic and XL Wispy Dramatic. If I'm going to be honest with you, <laughs> the lashes on this one are already falling out. This looks like it's going to be too bold. I think I'm going to go in with these because we used LA Girl on all of them. LA Girl, Jesus. We used LA Colors on most everything so and these look the most normal they just look like they're gonna be way too big for my hooded eyes they're not really hard to put on they're just kind of giving me trouble staying down and I know it's not the glue because I use that same glue every day all right so I don't like the lashes because they just keep unbending like they want to go straight and well I have a round eye so but we're gonna go in with the mascara I got and this is the LA Colors uh, thickening lashes volume mascara cute little one I hate that it's so small okay so I have had no luck with the lashes or the mascara I don't even think it's getting all the way on this brush the mascara was not that good like I'm pretty sure it wasn't even coming out on the wands like it was coming out on the ends of it like at the beginning and the end but I do not believe it was actually getting on like the middle where my lashes go so this I found which is Maybelline okay and it is color jolt lip paint so I thought this color would look really nice with a green look. Very naughty. Ah! So it's like a Christmas one. It's probably not. It's, it's probably not. It's not expecting that. You have to squeeze it out. Oh, okay. It's coming out slow. Oh, it smells like berries! It's like it wants to be a gloss and a lipstick. And it just, it smells so good. It's nice and thick, but not like sticky thick. I'm definitely not big on the applicator itself, but the lipstick itself, this is nice. So it is a lip paint, so that's probably why it's a little bit thicker, but it's nice. Like, it's not a bad thick. Like, it's a good thick. It's not runny. It's not um, see-through. Like, it is there. It is pigmented. It is living its best Dollar Tree, best lipstick life. Like, it is. I love this. Is one of my favorite and then the last but not least 
dollar setting spray perfect for travel la colors please don't be mad please don't be mad please don't be mad it just says setting spray <laughs> looks like a breath mix sprayer oh oh but why does she stink like why it felt like i just sprayed water that stinks like butt on my face so mm, mm. Ooh, yeah. All right, guys. So that is it for this Dollar Tree makeup look. Um, I do have to say I'm quite surprised. Like, I am very surprised that I was able to create such a good look with a Dollar Tree makeup haul. I'm, I'm surprised. Um, I did not like the bronzer. I didn't like these big lashes that were falling in pieces. I did not like the mascara. Um, very cheap, but I think all in all the foundation definitely is oxidizing. I can see that it's gotten darker um, The lipstick is my favorite The eye shimmer that I will now use as highlighter is my favorite um, But like the sponge isn't bad uh, The color change It fell in pieces. It was weird. Um, the blush was okay. So all in all, I don't think it's I don't think it's that bad. How do you guys think I did? Comment below and let me know. I think that if you're in a pinch and you are out and you don't really want to have to run to Sephora to buy a bunch of makeup or you just want little travel things, I think that these will be good. I don't think they're terrible. Like I said, I've been doing makeup for quite a long time. Um, and this is, this is dollar store makeup. Like this is not the worst, okay? This is not the worst. Um, also, I'll be going back to get more of these because I really, really, really love the formula of this lip jolt color jolt lip intense color jolt intense lip paint spit it out Jamie let me know how I did what do you guys think I don't think it's that bad I mean I wish I had my concealer but again I don't always conceal my eyes so it's really not that bad uh, the palette the colors were very blendable they were pigmented. I wish it had like a lighter make maybe like a transition color in it, but I'm, I'm not as disappointed as I thought I was going to be. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope you found it, you know, to be helpful. Maybe like maybe now, you know, like, hey, I can go to the dollar store and get some makeup. That's not that bad. Um, I hope that you had fun watching it. Just make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. I do upload five beauty videos every week and one blooper video on Saturdays. It is a lot of fun. And as always, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.